Hi everyone, today I am going to do a video about how to save your clipping hair extensions. Um, before I start, um, anyone that, that has watched my hair videos before you will have noticed that my hair used to be down here, like pretty long. And it was dip dyed blonde and everything, had blonde highlights. <laughs> Um, and then a couple of days ago I had it cut because it was just dead and it's now really short well it's not it's not dead short but it's really short compared to what, how my hair usually is so tonight um, I thought I would get my hair extensions out because I used to I used to wear clipping hair extensions when I was about 13 or 14 my mum paid like Fifty pound on on clipping hair extensions because I had quite short hair, and I really wanted long hair. So, yeah. Then obviously I haven't used them in quite a long time. Well, when I say quite a long time, quite a few years <laughs> I've not used them because my hair's been too long to even wear them. There's no point putting them in because they were the same length as my hair anyway. In fact, my hair was longer than when I had the hair extensions in, so there was no point wearing them anymore. But then tonight. Um, because I've had my hair cut, I miss having my long hair. But I had to have it cut short because my hair was just horrible. But, um, yeah, I got them out and they were just full of dust. Well, not full of dust, like, covered in them, but they were dusty. And they were just straggly and they just didn't feel nice. Just, it's I've got the human hair clipping ones. But because they've just been left for a couple of years, like, they've not been in my hair, they've not been washed... They were just disgusting, like I wouldn't have put them in my hair or anyone else's hair, they were just horrible. So I thought, I wonder if I can save these. So, I'm just going to talk you through what I did with them tonight, because now, I'd put them in my hair now. They, they are, they're good enough to put in my hair now. So what I did was, I I have like a, a shower head in, in my bath. So, over the bath, I rinse them through for a couple of minutes with just water, warm water. Um, then I got my normal shampoo and conditioner, what I'd use on my own hair. Um, and I shampooed each um, clipping extension individually. Um, and I did it twice, shampooed them twice. And the reason I shampooed them twice, um, not everyone knows this, but when you're washing your hair, you're actually supposed to shampoo your hair twice and then condition it once. Because the first time you shampoo your hair, it, it opens up the um the roots and everything and then the second time you shampoo your hair that is when it actually washes your hair and then the conditioner closes the roots or whatever i don't know i'm not like a technical expert or anything on this but i got told this quite a few years ago so that's what i normally do i normally shampoo my hair twice when i'm in the shower so that's what i did with the extensions i shampooed them twice and then when i put the conditioner on i covered the whole extension in conditioner and then if anyone's ever had their hair highlighted at um, the hairdressers you'll know that they use foils tin foil um, they, they use that on your hair and when I got t um, shown how to do like a conditioning treatment when I did like this short college course a couple of years ago um, we got told that you'll put cover the hair in conditioner and then do it as if you were going to do foils like when you highlighting your hair but obviously with the conditioner on so what I did with each extension I put it um, against some foil, say so this is the foil and put the hair extension against the foil and then fold the, fold the um, tin foil in then in half and then over again and then I left each extension with the conditioner on it inside some tin foil for about about an hour and a half, you don't need to leave it in the tin foil for an hour and a half, I just forgot about them. Um, but I think the longer you leave the conditioner on them, the better results you'll get. Um, but yeah, I left them on for about an hour and a half and then I took the tin foil off and I've just rinsed the conditioner out. And now, I've not dried them yet, but there is a massive improvement. Um, I'm just, I'm just looking at them over there right now. That's what I'm looking over there. Um, yeah, there's a massive improvement. I'd definitely put them in when I'm, once I've dried them. Um, I'll show you them at the end of this video, actually, once I've, I've um, dried them off with the hair dryer. Um, but, yeah. So, if you've got clipping hair extensions and you haven't worn them for a while and you want to wear them again and you, you get them out and you think, these are horrible, I can't put these in, 
They're all matted, tangled, just generally feel disgusting. Go give them a wash. Shampoo them twice, then put conditioner on them and leave the conditioner on for about an hour and a half and put wrap some tinfoil around each um, separate clipping extension. And then rinse the conditioner after about an hour, an hour and a half. Probably about an hour is fine. Um, even maybe 45 minutes if you want to, but the longer the better. Um, yeah, and then they should come out better, basically. More wearable. You'd want to put them in your hair. Um, they're not going to come out perfect like brand new hair extensions because that's just not going to happen. But yeah, that's how to save some clipping hair extensions. Alright, bye! Journey back in time. With £15 free online access to millions of historic records, tracing your family's. We'll see you in five weeks! <laughs>